How are you, Mr. John? I'm very well. How are you? I am wonderfully blessed, sir. So are you for creating Closed Circuit? It's a fantastic film. Good. It's so layered that I want to see it again. Okay, good. For all the red herrings that I miss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good. Um, how did it all begin? What, give us a chance. Um, well, the, the initial idea came from a, um, one of the leading barristers in London who approached Working Title and said, you know, this whole area of secret closed um, hearings is very interesting and nobody's done anything with it dramatically yet um, and somebody should go and have a look at it. And so that's where it started and Steve Knight um, started writing the script and then as it was being written, Working Title asked me if it was something that I might be interested in, in looking at when it was finished and I said absolutely because I was hooked on the idea. Um, and then we developed the script for about a year and a half and then started making it. So it was quite straightforward, really, as a process. Yeah, it is, um, you know, the whole, the whole theme of, you know, both Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall are working together, yet they cannot talk to each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of... Unusual. That's new, yeah, it is. for us, for it me. It is, it is. You know? yeah. and, it, the, and is that true? Yes, it is, yeah. So it's, it's an aspect which is, is um, you know, if that, which has come in post 9-11 in the, in the country, which is a, a means of dealing with um, terror suspects um, uh, if the government or the Crown Prosecution Service in, in, in England has evidence that they feel they cannot disclose because it's too sensitive to national security. So they say, we know it was you, but we can't tell you how we know it was you. And that is, of course, yeah. against all due process. So what they do is they give you a thing called a special advocate, which is a security cleared barrister who looks at the evidence in a sealed courtroom. And f from the moment that they see that evidence, they're not allowed to communicate to you, the defendant, or to your uh, lawyer. Basically. Here's the magic about, uh, of the movie is that, you know, it's smart, it's taught, yeah. uh, thriller, yet it's also entertaining and yes. pounding. Yeah. How did you find that balance? Well, it was conceived that way. I mean, we set out to make the kind of film that, that we used to make very well in the 70s, like All the President's yes, Men yes, or yes. Clute or, or... Sidney Lumet. Yeah. Sidney Lumet, yeah. Um, or equally Sidney Pollock, you know, Three Days of the Condor, um, which is a, a grown-up thriller which, which does just that, which thrills you and which is exciting, um, but which doesn't ask an audience to leave its brain at the door when right. they come in and, right. and, and doesn't patronize its audience. And, um, and a lot of that work is the kind of work that's turning up on very smart TV now, you know. So this is an attempt to try and do that in the cinema in the way that we used to do it before. So. Right. London plays yes. another character. Absolutely, right? yes. Right? Yeah. I, it's beautiful to see. Good. Yeah. How, we, how, how did you guys plan that? Well, it, you know, uh, it, it, from the start was one of the most appealing things for me about the film as well because I, I felt that the English legal world would look fabulous on screen and, and hadn't been shown on that scale before. So, um, and, and equally, the river plays a huge role yes. in, the, in the film. And, um, you know, it, we spent a long time, I live in London and have done for, for 14 years, but we spent a long time trying to find unusual locations which would not look particularly like picture postcard London, as it were, you know. Um, and also then I wanted to show London, which looked slightly odd at times, which was is the side of London, which is this sort of surveillance camera side of it, you know, right. so slightly creepier element to right. it. Um, so closed circuit really is about, it, on the onset, it's about the surveillance cameras, but yeah. it's really the, the, the process involved with it. Is that well, it, you could say that. I mean, cl closed circuit is really referring to the cameras that are following everybody. I mean, that's literally what it refers to. A closed court hearing is what happens in the terrorist cases where the evidence is too hot to handle in a public case and they have to do it behind closed doors, basically. Thank God we have open cameras right now. We I'll have, be all paranoid. You're, you're being watched. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Lovely much. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you.